it's uh, fun having these things so close to home. Tom Witherspoon has given working out of the home a whole new meaning. It's right here in my backyard. It's really more accurate to say that Tom works out of his home and in the backyard. Sometimes Tom's neighbor, Mike, helps him to cross Sugar Creek, which runs through Tom's land in Crawfordsville. Just on the other side is where Tom hammers out his livelihood. Every single rock is a surprise. You don't know what you're gonna get. You know, every time you pry a rock out of the ground, you know, you see something different, you know, it's just, uh, it's really intense, you know, to be finding it. But when you bring it back here to the shop and you start preparing them with the machines, that's when you find the majority of them. You can find the other 75% of the things that are hidden, hidden in the rock. To most folks, they're just rocks. But for Tom Witherspoon, these are precious chunks of Indiana history. Ironically, Tom's job is to take a rock and then meticulously remove the rock bit by bit. When he does, it reveals something of prehistoric proportion. The quality of the preservation and the quantity of species and is pretty much unrivaled anywhere in the world. You are looking at Indiana 350 million years ago. They are known as crinoids, a filter-feeding marine animal related to the starfish. Most folks know the crinoid by its stem the round segments are popularly known as Indian beads. 350 million years ago, crinoids and other marine life thrived in the watery river delta that someday would be the Hoosier State. As the delta silted over, marine life was buried and preserved. Millions of years later, in the mid-1800s, paleontologists discovered the crinoids of Crawfordsville and Montgomery County, Indiana, became famous the world over. Supposedly it was the Crawfordsville's uh, first claim to fame. And uh, a lot of the species that they, they, they found here originally were, a lot, a lot of them were uh, uh, being identified for the very first time. So this area helped the paleontologist to identify a lot of the fossils you know, from around the United States. After landmark digs in the 1800s and early 1900s, the site was all but forgotten. But then Tom Witherspoon came along and started digging again. His initial finds eventually allowed him to purchase the area. Today, he sells crinoid fossils and other critters to museums, businesses, and private collectors. A top-notch piece can fetch well over $10,000. This is one of the better pieces that we've ever prepared. There's approximately 33 species on this slab. There's some starfish in here. I can point you out the starfish. There's a starfish attached to this thing. Uh, this crinoid here, and it's, it's a piece of Montgomery attached. County, Indiana. And it's, uh, it's all natural. All these things that are here are, are the way they were when they died 350 million years ago when the sediments came in and the weight of the sediments buried them in their, uh, in their layer. Describe what would a crinoid's day be like 350 million years ago? <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. Um, well, I you know, they couldn't see, but the, um, they had a central nervous system. So they uh, were able to basically sense day and night. I would think that they may have been night feeders. And you know, just working the currents to get all the plankton and algae. And it was just continuous. Most folks in Montgomery County really don't know how special this is. Uh, they know about the fossils, but they don't know exactly where the fossils come from. This is the exact locality that was quarried you know, back in the 1850s and 1860s and on through the turn of the century. And, and now we're picking it up where they left off. <laughs>